Hi and welcome to this new video tutorial. My name is Michael Novello and in this video tutorial I want to show you how you can make glossy materials like metals um, or real shiny metal material. Okay, um, first of all I have to say um, I researched a lot about materials and I'm still researching and the first uh, thing I want to have from the from my checklist was the glossy material things. Um, I've done some uh, for uh, plastic and this one is for metal, glossy metals and after my researching and um, reading a lot about the dot product or um, the geometry node of Blender uh, I found the, a very similar uh, node setup on Blendswap. Um, but I have to say, I have not copied it. It's it's like the wheel. The wheel was invented several times, like the radio or um, the telephone. So I reinvented that shader. Um, was a little bit of a work and afterwards I I asked myself why have I done this work I had to look at Blendswap but then um, if I make a tutorial about this I have to do it by myself and not just copying it from another guy that's that's not fair and that's because um, I say that maybe I put a link uh, under this video where you can find uh, another uh, node setup. So now let's have a look at the material. A metal, glossy metal material. Um, if you look directly on this um, on a metal, glossy metal material, you see another color then uh, it's, it has um, a little bit back or in the background because the uh, angle of light is different and you see different colors because of the different angle okay um, let's make this clear and just move this guy here up zoom a little bit out and let's just just um, Crank this up here and make it blue. Okay, now it's I think it's a little bit better. Now you can see the foreground color, the mid color, and the background color. The background color goes around, and this is not red because it's a reflection of the, the background and bending and the bending of the light. Okay, light not not bends. Okay, yes, it bends in the in space. And if you have a black hole, then light is bending. But uh, in this case, not uh, just a, a word. Um, it's the bending of the uh, of the object, and the light is reflected in all direction because it's a, a sphere. Okay. Now, how can I do this? At first first look we need three colors we have three colors in there uh, we have three glossy colors in there that means we need three glossy nodes and we have to uh, think about how we can make these effects here okay the first intention is okay we need some fresnel or facing in this case the facing where, where where the normals are facing to okay I have here the node setup here you can see the foreground color and the mid color and these two guys have the same um, roughness and these are mixed together in a mix shader with a layer weight and with the facing and a value of 0.6 about that 
can change this to get another different effect. Then comes the tricky part, the back color, background color. First you have to think about um, where it's coming from. What is, is what is uh, what do you need? How do you get this facing here? And this is um, you have one ray is coming incoming. There's the word incoming to your view, to your point of view. And another angle is the normal. But how you, can you put them together? And there's something, it's called the dot product. Um, it's uh, the scalar point, the scalar point, or it's in German it's scalar point, scalar, scalar, scalar point of two vectors. Okay, and if you use the normal and the incoming as the vectors, then um, there's a little bit mathematic behind because it's a three-dimensional space. Um, Two-dimensional dimensional space is easy, but the three-dimensional is a little bit tricky. Um, then I put it in here a power node. A power node is a ex exponential node. Node. Um, it's simple cranks up your values. That's all. That's all you have to know. It's that's um, because if you if you put this here, you, there, here comes out a real little number, and just to power this up, we use a power node, a power math node, and we put this in the mix in the mix shader in the factor which is mixing the background color and the foreground and the mid color together and then you have something like that and that's it that's a, a metal shader and if we now change this to something like that and this here to yeah, something yellowish orange yellow and this one as well let's say let's do this like that then you have something like gold or if you put this in the red zone then we have something like um it's two let's Desaturate this a little bit. Then you have something like copper. This is a really red copper, but um, uh, or something. And they can play play with that. If you crank this up here, or oh, let's go in here and to H S V and pull down the saturation saturation of these guys here. Now we have copper, and can. Okay down the saturation here as well and this guy as well and then you have a chrome material and down okay now you have chrome and that's how you do metal the right way I think for me it works very well and I hope it works for you as well okay I know uh, something like the dot product or uh, the mathematic is sometimes a little bit heavy, but uh, sometimes it's really necessary to go into the mathematic um, where it's come from. What what does the the math node do? What what is the uh, because it's three three dimensional? Um, you have to play with vectors, and maybe you have you have to have a look on the mathematics okay that's because for the younger ones that's because you have to pay attention at school okay especially as a math class so that's it for the metal shader 
and I, be, I hope you have fun and goodbye.